Hi everybody. Um, I am going to uh, show you my new pattern that I created while I was on um, my trip. Um, I'm calling this one Atrium because it is inspired by the carpet in the atrium of the cruise ship. It's amazing what patterns you can find on a cruise ship. That thing is decorated to all, oh, yeah, crazy. So here's a picture of the actual carpet. Let's see if you can see that. I'll zoom it in a bit. That's, that's the carpet that was in the atrium. Really pretty, huh? Not at all what you would probably have in your home. No, no, no. Very circus-like. But it had some interesting pattern. And so I deconstructed it using... Um, actually using... It took me a minute to figure out how to draw this. Just telling you that. It took me a minute. But I got it. And I ended up with this. And so this is what comes out of it, but it's easily done in these four steps. That took me a minute to figure out how to do it easily. So step number one is going to be a uh, kind of a rice shape up here in the corner. Step number two, you're then going to aura that shape. Step number three, this one's a little bit, um, not complicated, but start here. I started here. I found that the easiest place to start. You can come up and around in sort of a, a mooka like shape, starting here and ending not quite down into the corner. Okay? And then step four, do that same thing again on the other side so that they're sort of mirroring each other. And that's it. And then all you have to do then to create this is to do those squares and turn them. See how here's this one is drawn the same way as, as this, that one there. And then I just turned it and turned it and turned it. And when you turn it, it turns into that. So I'm going to draw that for you guys. Um, I just turned these patterns into Nikki uh, Nicole at uh, Pattern Collections, so they should be coming up on the website soon. And once they are, then I will release this video so that you guys are able to actually have um, the step out directly on the website. Um, what am I doing? I'm talking instead of thinking here. Oh, we've gone. Out of focus. Okay, so first thing we want to do is to make a grid, and in order for me to make a nice even grid, I am going to go ahead and go ahead and do my pencil lines so that I have a fairly even bunch of squares here. Okay. And believe it or not, all of the, I, I did three patterns and all three of them are grid patterns. You know, grids are not my friend, but for deconstruction, grids are my friend. So yeah, figuring out how to do this was, was a interesting challenge. <clears throat> I drew it several different times before I figured out the best way to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna start, I want, one of those circles, I think, right here. So I'm going to start by just drawing my grid first. I guess I should do that first. I am not doing this in the most logical manner am I not 
really. Okay. I'm just using my pencil line as a general guideline. I know it's not perfect. There we go. Grid. Okay, pick one of your grids and in one corner draw this sort of rice-like shape, okay? And then or that. And then from here, come up and around all the way to that, around like this and down. So you're drawing it a lot like mukha, okay? And then go the other way, out and around, kind of back on itself and like that. All right, let me zoom in on that a little bit and do another one. I'm gonna turn it. So that, is that right? Yeah. Make sure I'm doing it right. Okay, I know it's mine, but still. Rice shape. Aura. Mooka like around. Make this little curve. Come back to about there. And then this one, you want to come back to this spot. So come up, make a little whoop de doop, come back and connect it to that one. Okay, turn, do it again. Rice shape. Mooka ish shape. Mooka ish shape. And connect it to that. Okay, turn it, do it again. Rice like shape. When I first tried drawing it, I tried drawing the circle first. That didn't really work. Um, just various things I tried before I come up with. Make sure you connect that to there. Ooh, I'm a little off with that one, but that's okay. Okay, so that's four of them together. Then you want to turn this one. Your little rice shape is here with your curve there, and that's going to make that circle up and around and back, up and around and back. Okay? Turn, rice, shape, aura, mooka like shape, mooka like shape, turn, rice shape, aura, Mooka like shape, Mooka like shape. Okay, turn. Rice shape, aura. Mooka like. Mooka like. There we go. Okay, we're going to do this one here, rice shape, aura, look alike, look alike. The closer you get to the corner here, the skinnier this bit here will be. I got a little 
fat to start with, but that's eh, okay. Okay, turn my tile. Rice shape. Aura. See, once you do that, you end up with this thing with the circle. And that's how I remembered it. Rice or a mucha. Rice or a mucha. Rice or a mucha. Oops, I was a little off screen that time. Ugh. Fudge buckets. the street sweeper hopefully there's not too many cars parked in front of my house the curb in front will get clean today doesn't always because we have a lot of cars in our neighborhood so lots of times when the street sweeper goes by doesn't get clean in front of our house okay pick one here rice Now, I didn't try it doing it not turned and doing them all going the same direction. That would be interesting to try. And I may try that another day or do a second video with atrium done in a different fashion. Might do that. One more. Rice shape. Or a mooka like. And mooka like. Just like that. Zoom out. And there you go. It looks way harder than it is, doesn't it? better sign it and this is atrium okay and then I'm going to um, shade like I did on my sample which was on this side of these this rice shape here and you can embellish this more if you want um, the actual carpet had um, hang on a second let me get back to my picture had um, inside here has another set of little bracket like things inside here so you could do that right there if you want and it also had um, these little bits here so if you wanted to put some little thing in in here it would be be like in here like there almost like little seeds a 
You could do that. You could embellish further. Um, I really needed to make these a little bit closer to the corner. Um, I got a little bit carried away, but that's all right. Now that I started this little seed embellishment, I need to go ahead and do it on all of them or else it'll look funny. But anyway, you can embellish them however you want. You know, if you decided that, that, that this corner, these corners were, oh, pardon me, were too wide and it looked funny, you could, you could do this. You could um, do like this, like that, which actually I think looks nice. There we go. I like that. Okay, so I've added a little something something to that. So maybe I will um, shade. How do I want to shade? Shade in there. I'm going to shade just two of them, not all of them. To make it more 3D looking. And then I'm just going to shade right inside here. little bit of pencil up in there right around the edge nothing hard or special just right in those pockets of curve missed one on this one okay I, think I got them all and then I'm just gonna go around and blend I like what the blending does. Really just gives it a pop. I'd like you guys to try it and see what you guys can come up with. See if you can change it up or, um, you know, shade it differently or use it in a different manner. I'd like to see what you guys can come up with. I really appreciate it when you guys share with me. Um, your work. It's a lot of fun. I saw someone the other day had taken my sparkle video, which really wasn't a pattern. It was just, um, you know, I'd already drawn out the shapes and I was just showing how to use sparkle. And they'd taken that video in and put their own spin on it and made a really awesome piece. I don't remember her name, but she shared it in the Facebook group, the uh, Pattern Tangle It Pattern Club. And it was awesome. there and some in this little box part there that I added. There we go. Simple, but not so simple. Four steps. I'll get show it to you again. Rice, aura, mooka like two times. That's it. And I'm thinking about maybe trying this and not doing it in the four 
orientation, but doing it all like this in a row and seeing what it comes out like, that would be interesting. Maybe I'll do that next. Anyway, there's Atrium. I hope you enjoy it. Um, look around in your world, see where there might be patterns that you can recreate and figure it out. Um, like I said, this was, was a bit of a challenge. Come on, go out again. Why is it stuck? My phone has issues. Come on. Ah. My phone has issues. It doesn't want to go zoom back out or move. It's stuck. I have to reboot. But anyway, go back and look on my picture and you can see that, you know, it, it took took a fair about, bit of time to figure out how to draw it, but once I did, oh, there it goes. Okay. See, I could have, I could have thought about, I ended up thinking about just one little piece right here. I started out thinking about this as a bigger square. Oops, not that. Now it's going back. Ay ay ay. Don't like my phone. Okay, I could have. It's just being dumb today. There. All right. Let's try again. I could have tried it with these four shapes here. I at first tried it with this big as my square and tried putting a circle in the middle of it. That just wasn't working. It was too big. And then I realized that this was a square in itself. And so that was working better. So that's good. All right. Uh, you guys have a really good day and um, I'm going to work on the next one. Sorry, I got a little distracted. My husband's messaging me while I'm doing this. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.